Welcome to this new video. This week we are going to show you how to migrate your Slack channels to Microsoft Teams. Let's start. We are going to show you how to configure the migration and run it. First, log in and enter your migration project. Once in your project, your first step is to configure your connectors for connecting to Slack and Microsoft 365. Log in to api.slack.com and create an application following this article. Slack Connector Configuration – How to Generate Slack Token This link is provided in the User Guide. Under Oath and Permissions, Copy the user oath token. Now click on Connectors and click on Create a Slack Source Connector. Give your connector a name. Select Source as Direction and select Site, Groups, Teams for Migration Product. Click Next. Paste the user oath token. Click Next and Complete. Now that we have created the source connector, let's set up the target Microsoft connector. Select a Microsoft connector. Give it a name and select Target as Direction and select Site, Groups, Teams as Product. For this tutorial, we're going to use the automatic mode. You can use the expert mode if you want to manually create your connector. For simplicity, we are not going to use the expert mode in this video. However, more details are available in the user guide. In this screen, enter a migration account and password. It doesn't have to be admin of the tenant. This is the account that will be used to access resources such as shared mailboxes, rooms and equipments and so on. Next, click on Grant Admin Consent. It will install an Azure Active Directory application in your tenant. You will be prompted to enter a global admin account. It is only necessary for installing the Azure AD application and will not be used during a migration process. First, let's populate the migration list. It can be done in two different ways. From the Site Migration Interface, navigate to Sites, then Group List, then select Get List from the Migration menu or from the Discovery homepage by selecting Get Groups – Teams. In the Get Groups pop-up, select your source connector. Click on Get. You can monitor and check the logs of the discovery process. Once completed, the list of channels appear in the list. Now, let's pick up one channel and migrate it. Set the target location. Before starting the migration, start the pre-processing task. The pre-processing will create the target teams and give the correct permissions to the migration account. Once the pre-processing is completed, you can start the migration and come back later once it's done. CloudAway is using the Microsoft Import APIS. At the end of the migration, you must close the import APIS. As long as it is not done, the team will remain invisible in Microsoft 365. For closing the team, just start the post-migration job. Good! The migration is completed. Good news! Both the pre-processing and the migration is completed. We can see the statistics of the migration in the user details. 
We can also see a consolidated view of the statistics in the global dashboard. Thank you for watching and check out our other migration guides.